Welcome back to Pro Labor Council of Seer. This is CLE Language Arts 8, Book 2. Again, it's recorded right here in our classroom, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, 8th grade lesson 7, Relative Pronouns and Adjective Clauses. Uh, let's list, I'm going to start by making a list of the relative pronouns. And they are who, whom, whose, which, and where the, uh, the interrogative pronouns would be whom, whose, which, and what. The relative pronouns are whom, whose, which, and that. Whom, whose, which, and that. Relative pronouns are pronouns that always will begin an adjective clause. So let's review. What is a clause? A group of words that has a... Good. A group of words has a subject and a verb. Um, a subject and a predicate. That makes a clause. Let's look at this first sentence. God called the boy who was sleeping. What is the main clause, the independent clause? First clause. Okay, let's let's put brackets around the clauses. Who was sleeping? What's the other clause? God called the boy. So God called the boy and who was sleeping. Here we have God called, and here we have who was sleeping. Um, God called the boy is the independent one that can stand alone for sure. Who was sleeping uh, actually could stand alone as well. It's also feeling pretty independent. But we're going to, it's actually not independent. It's not joined with a coordinated conjunction. So we don't call it independent. But uh, let's show how to diagram. God called the boy who was sleeping. The verb is called. Who or what called? God called. God called who or what? Boy. So boy is a? Direct object. God called boy, and it's the boy. Now, here's the other thing about ad adjective clauses and relative pronouns. The relative pronoun always, almost always, not quite always, but always modifies the word that comes directly before it. So, boy, who modifies boy? That's the way adjective clauses have to be. Adjectives clauses have to be right beside it. It would be an adverb clause. It can be found anywhere in the sentence, but not with adjective clauses. They gotta stick close to the words they modify. Now we diagram this sentence down here below, right down below. What's the verb in it? This clause. Verb uh, one. And actually, was sleeping. It's a complete verb. And then who or what was sleeping? Who? Who was sleeping? Who was sleeping? Who? The pronoun, actually. It's taking the place of a noun, and it works to be a pronoun. We can say, this was sleeping. It's, it's, it's actually a noun, a subject here, a, a pronoun, but it can be a subject. Now, one more thing we need to do yet, and that is connect these two with a dotted line, and the dotted line shows the relative pronoun and the word it modifies. So, the relative pronoun is who, dotted line from this, up to boy, the word it modifies. Yeah, we get more diagrams today. And they get deeper and darker. Okay. The girl whose coat this is ran down the hall. Can you find one of the clauses in there? Whose coat this is, actually. And then the other clause is the girl ran down the hall. So we're going to start with diagramming that main clause. The girl ran down the hall. Um, I'm going to be really far away from you if I go over there, but I'm going to go over here, I guess. Um, and the verb is... I wish I could write this my left hand. Ran. Excellent. And who or what ran? Girl. And under girl, we will put the. The girl ran. And now where do we put down the hall? Great. It's a prepositional phrase. It goes... Down, hall, the hall. Now we have the girl ran down the hall. We got that much diagram. Now we're going to diagram whose coat this is just down here beneath. What is the verb? Uh, no. Is. Is. Who or what is?
Is it whose? Is it coat? Or is it this? This. I'm a... I think it's coat. I'm going to go with coat. Coat is. And I think it's this coat. And I think it's whose coat. It is an adjective. Now, as we said before, the dotted line needs to connect the relative pronoun and the word the relative pronoun is modified. Who's to girl? So that means we start down underneath. Right up to girl. Whose coat this is. Finally, the last one. God is the one to whom we pray. God is the one. In the other clause, to whom we pray. Let's do the diagram and the base clause first. God is one. predicate nominative one. It's renaming God, and He's the one. Now, down here, let's diagram the other one. Pray is the verb. Who or what? Pray. We pray. And then, where do the rest of the words go? We pray a good. To whom? Prepositional phrase. To whom? Now, what's the relative pronoun in here? Whom. Whom, and what word does it modify? God. Oh, one. One. Always right beside it, right close. Now, here we have this little two wedged in there, but it's almost the right next word. So, let's connect the whom to the one with a dotted line. All right, there are many steps. It's very complex, but I think it's fun. Carry on with your work.